everyone from Chelsea Fan TV. Before we get into the fan cam, shout out to the sponsor, Match Bingo. It's a bit like Thiago Silva. It's quite sad. It's the last game that Match Bingo are going to be our sponsors for. This is your last chance before the Euros to download Match Bingo and get stuck in. You've got to be over 18. Check it out. Click the link below. It's over, people. The season is over. Helps the channel, helps them as well. Check out Match Bingo. Hello everyone from Chelsea Fan TV. My name is Alex. We're outside Stamford Bridge today. The final game of the season. It's, it's, it's over. Um, we've been Bournemouth 2-1 done. And, uh, well, it wasn't just that. It wasn't all, all smiles. There was a few tears as well with Thiago Silva. It's yeah. his final game in a, in a Chelsea shirt. How do you sum it all up? First of all, let me say something here. We, we were shit today. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. We weren't that good today, man. Honestly, like in the final third, you know, in the first half, we just kept breaking down our chances. Second half, Bournemouth came out. They actually kept lobbing the ball in. In the first, I was, t I was telling, um, what's his name, Cameron? I was, Callum, Callum. I was telling Callum, yeah, um, in the second half that they changed their tactics. Because in the first half, they weren't really whipping it in. But second half, I was seeing, they kept whipping it in, whipping it in, whipping it in. And we weren't great in the final third. But you know what? We got the W. That's the main thing today. Caicedo in that first half, just balling out, balling out. And this is a Caicedo that I wanted to see all season. Unfortunately, he wasn't set up the way we have been recently. Do you know what I mean? But I think today, listen, it's just a reflection of Thiago Silva, innit? You know, the guy's been here now four seasons, you know, never won a Champions League in his career. Comes to Chelsea the year after, you know, finishing in that final with Tuchel and losing to Bayern Munich. Um, and then we give him a Champions League, do you know what I mean? We should have given him a lot more. But unfortunately for him, we lost a few trophies to Liverpool, which is annoying in itself. But it was still good for me to see an all-timer because even before Thiago Silva joined Chelsea, this is a centre-back that I've always respected and always loved. So it's been a pleasure to see him and his family literally, you know, they're proper Chelsea. When you look at them, they, they love the club. His, 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 his sons play for Chelsea. Um, you know, his, 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 his wife's always at games and that as well. I saw at the Fulham game, she was sitting literally right next to us. Do you know what I'm saying? So, listen, I've got so much time for him. And I, I pray that after he retires and whatnot, he's going to come back to Chelsea and go into like a coaching role. Because I see I see a few clips the other day of him doing the coach, coaching, reading De Zerbi's book and whatnot. I know you said you saw Poch crying. I don't know whether that means he's been well, sacked. I, I, yeah, <laughs> Poch obviously he didn't come down and, and clap the fans. I thought he would. Yeah. Um, I was right by the tunnels. I, yeah, yeah, I saw him. It looked like he was crying. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. He was obviously very emotional. He's an emotional but, guy, though. He, yeah, he is, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I think there's two things that could be about. I think yeah. the first one is silver yeah. and yeah, I think yeah. the second one might be and this is just uh, something that one of my mates threw out is that yeah. he might be leaving and he already knows it yeah. which I don't believe if I'm totally honest yeah, with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think look, look, end of the day he's hit the objective you know, like I've said if it's up to me I would still move him on because I think that De Zerbi would get more out of this, this squad in all honesty. But right now I can't, listen, I can't say much because it's five wins in a row. You know, what he's doing at the minute, I wanted him to do it a lot earlier. But I'm just hoping that he carries this form into the season, if into next season. Because if we keep him on now, he can't be starting the way we started start of the season. Do you know what I'm saying? We can't be, you know, mid-table in, in December and whatnot. You know, if he, if he starts off like that, he has to get sacked before, before Christmas. But end of the day, I haven't got an agenda because I wanted Poch to come in. But he disappointed me. He had me fighting for my life this season, Alex. So many people saying, our oh, Chelsea players aren't good. It's all the players. You lot are just shit in front of goal. We know they're not good, good in front of goal. But end of the day, tactically, this guy could have done a lot more. You know, and it's annoying that he's done it towards the end of the season. Because if he'd done it a lot earlier, bro, I reckon we could have got top four, in my opinion. Because we're not far from Villa. They got smoked today as well. What was the, what was the score? What was the score today? Last time I checked, it was 5-0. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Last time I was checking, it was 5-0 and whatnot. At least they just scoring and, and doing what he was doing against them. Do you know what I'm saying? So, listen, for me, like I've said, we go again next year. Hopefully in the summer, we rectify a lot of these mistakes. We need to bring in a striker. We need to bring in a left back. Yeah. We need to bring in a centre back. There's a few additions that we need to make and we need to hopefully keep people fit. Yeah. But there's definitely things to look forward to in it because we haven't, got a, we haven't got a bad team, in all honesty. We've just got a few little bits that we need to sort out and Poch needs to carry on doing what he's been doing the past five games. Yeah, I think I think when it comes to Poch, I, I do think there's definitely games we could have done a lot better. Yeah. Middlesbrough stands out to me. Arsenal stands out to me. Yeah. And I looked at the manager and I said, you know what, mate? I'm not saying the players were good because they were rubbish, but you were just as bad. Yeah. Um, but surely when you can see, mm. we get a couple of players back. We yeah, get yeah. Uh, Gusto, we get James, yeah. we get Nkunku. Yeah. These are big players and they yeah, make a big yeah, difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing though, like obviously, look, for me, I, I gave him three strikes. And the reason why was because of the amount of injuries that we had. So I had to be fair. You know what I mean? My third strike only came up against Wolves when we lost to Wolves, 4-2, right? 
And I, I said watch out after that because we had Nkuku start that game. We had Caicedo start, we had Enzo start, we had all these players start because usually he'll go away and start talking about the circumstances every time we'd lose games. But for me, even with the injuries, bro, he didn't have to keep playing people out of position. Why did Matson not get a look in as much? You know, he's in he's in Champions League final at the minute. Why did you keep playing Levi Cole at left back? Why did you keep playing Ben Chiwa at left wing? You know, early on in the season, go back to the, the fan cams that I did because I don't come every single game. But I've been to a lot of games this year and I've been telling you the same thing about this guy being a spy and, you know, we're not playing well we're Cole Palmer FC but look look what happens when you set the team up to play well as, as a team more cohesion can be built more chemistry can be built more relationships can be built and people are more confident in front of goal because we've been scoring a lot of goals recently as well do you know what I'm saying so like I said I hope he, ca I hope he carries it on I pray people stay fit because one thing that scares me about him is when we get injuries Poch doesn't really know what to do in my opinion he doesn't trust the kids from the academy he's clearly shown it this season he'd rather play Disarcy at right back or Alfie at right back than play Josh Achimpong who's an actual natural right back from the academy so we need to just make sure that we keep as many people fit to, to stop his head going crazy bro when there's too many injuries he doesn't know what to do in my opinion do you know what I'm saying it, that would be the same for a lot of managers because no, you plan bro. ahead with your best players bro of course of course like you're going to have a, a drop down but that doesn't mean that you play people out of position because even with the injuries we still had people fit like yeah. I've said you know yeah, yeah, yeah. he had left backs on the bench he had wingers on the bench yeah. he decided to play defenders in these in positions where they shouldn't be do you know what I mean yeah. so that's how I kind of look at it he should have done more but I'm just hoping that he's learned his lesson you know because it's still up in the air at the minute if he's going to stay or not you know what I'm saying so we'll see what happens in it we'll see what happens man yeah I mean do you think things are going to get better if Poch stays and if he mm. does go do you think that will improve more so listen I expected this guy to be able to build the foundation I don't know if he's gonna be the guy to win us trophies obviously we found our way into a final this year somehow you know we lost that we got to another semi-final we lost that I'm just hoping it's the same sort of thing next time you know I, I need this guy to get over the line you know because he's still got a monkey on his back he still hasn't won anything in England you know what I'm saying so we really need to make sure that we try and, and go again next year and win another or win, win a trophy under this guy because he needs that monkey off his back and maybe if he does win a trophy that will just become uh, you know he'll, 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 he'll have that off his back and now the pressure's off and he could just do you know what I mean because lately the, the past few games I've been watching him he looks like he's a little bit you know, he's, he's, he's feeling a little bit more comfortable now. Same way the players are looking a little bit more like they're happy. That's the understandable, you know isn't it? No, of course, that's what I'm saying. That's because we're playing well and we're getting the results. And that's what we need to do next season. You know what I mean? But it's going to be a big pre-season, man. A big pre-season of changes and whatnot. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, for me, it was never about how you started. It was about how you finished. And we finished in a very strong way. We just about scraped it, bro. We just about scraped it, man. Five wins in a row, bro. Come on. Alex, you got... Look at it as team. I know you, you don't really rate this team and whatnot, yeah. But start of the season, you stood over there and you said you think Chelsea can finish in the top four. Yeah, right? with a fit squad, mate. That was before Chukwemeka was injured. That was before we lost all of these players. Yeah, but you know. Then I went out and I started blaming the players, <laughs> and but everyone said I was delusional. Now the players are coming back yeah. because we've got some half decent ones. Yeah, getting but bro, results. What was it? What game was it when we had 14 injuries? Was that against Villa or was that against Spurs? When we, had there, we had many injuries in a lot played, of games. We played very well, bro. We yeah. played very well. Aston Villa, you know, they beat Man City at home, they beat Arsenal at home. We went there and we looked like the home team. And that's because we were set up correctly. So like I said, as much as, yes, we've had injuries, he has to do more tactically. That's my biggest problem with Poch. He hasn't done enough tactically this season. So he needs to carry on, like I've said, in the new season. Yeah, I mean, who, who do you see coming in to take what Thiago Silva's given us over the past few years? There's not many players that can live up to that. Yeah. Oh man, it's hard, man. That's 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 some hard boots to fill, man. Because listen, at the end of the day, he's got the he's got the experience, he's got the leadership. You know, I know he's never really wanted the captaincy, but I think that's more of a, a language barrier thing. It's funny enough, today was the first time I've heard Thiago Silva speak in English. You know what I'm saying? And he speaks good English as well, to be fair. You, you know, didn't I mean? pronounce it well, actually. I'll yeah. give him that. Yeah. So listen, I don't know who's gonna come in right now because I need to do more research around centre backs that are available. At the minute, we're looking at obviously tossing from uh, Fulham. Um, he's not as good as Thiago Silva, obviously, but I think he's a good. He'll be a good signing. We'll have to see who we bring in, man. For me, like Fofana is is a good defender, very very good defender, but he can't stay fit. That's the only problem. Chalabar, another amazing performance today, but what's going to happen with him? If it's up to me, I keep him. I think he's better than De Sassi. Do you know what I'm saying? And he's really really stepped up because before before the injuries and that, before he came back, bro, he he had a little bit of a Bowser moment in him. But I feel like he's kind of. You know, because he knows that he's one of the oldest players that are still left. He's taken that in him and he's and he's showing it on the pitch. Consistently, bro, since he's been back, he's been very, very good, man. So, listen, FFP's a bitch. We'll see what happens with Chalabar. But if it's up to me, I keep him because that's the type of player you want in your squad. Usually, he barely gets injured, you know. And he's, he's someone that can come in and when he comes in, I'm not really scared, depending on who he's playing with. Do you know what I'm saying? So, we'll see who we could get at centre-back. Who would you want? Who would you want at centre-back? Instead of Silva, yeah, instead of Silva right now. I haven't, I haven't. Yeah, I agree with you. There, there's not many options out there. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Um, I, I think um, 
there are options. You just have yeah. to dive a little bit deeper because it's not only about quality. It's about yeah. market value, what yeah. the clubs are willing to play, and mm. if the player really wants to come. We saw with Caicedo. Yeah. We really shouldn't have signed him. Bro, but the player, let's talk about he, that he wanted. Goal. Yeah, yeah. Let us listen here. Yeah. I'm happy that you gave me this ticket today. You know that because I got to witness that, and I was sitting behind our goal as well when it happened. You know what I mean? When he, when the ball came, it was all like, oh. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm so happy that this guy's finished the season off like this because he's given him confidence. And one way, one reason I know that the guy's got confidence now is because he's dyed his hair, bro. He's moving like Cisco. I said it on my fan cam the other day. He's looking like Cisco in the midfield and because he knows he's enjoying his football at the minute. So we need to just carry on next season. You know what I mean? We need to carry on next season, man. I don't know what's going to happen with Gallagher. You know, he's improved this season. We'll see what happens in the summer. But there's a lot of things to look forward to, man. I'll be real. There's a lot of things to look forward to. I'm optimistic about, about next year. Just I'm just praying that these owners learn, they've learned from their mistakes. That's that's the main thing for me. I hope they've learned from their mistakes and it, they need to rectify them. As far as I'm aware, Bowley's not here today, but Feliciano and Egbali, I saw them walk past earlier. Oh, really? So I think they were, they were both here. Okay. Um, they got to see in the flesh mm. how some of these players play. Yeah. If we are going to get rid of Gallagher yeah. and Chalaba, mm. I mean, Potch has kind of hinted at it. Do you think that he might walk away? Boy, we'll see about that. I don't see him walking away because if he does, he's not going to get a payout, is he? <laughs> he's going to wait to get sacked. Do you know what I mean? I don't see this guy walking away, to be honest. I think he's obviously disgruntled because he's not getting the control that he wants. For me, I don't, I don't mind that anyway because I don't want the manager to have too much control because what's going to happen is we'll have a situation where if he gets sacked, we're left with players that we might not want to use going forward. Like what happened before, we had Conte players, we had Tuchel players, we had Lampard players, we had all these players from different systems and they don't work together. So we just need to make sure we keep making club signings and obviously some signings is going to have a say in it but I don't want this guy to get any control because he's talent ID as well shocking shocking Andre Santos should have not been loaned out and, and uh, what's his How name that was Pochettino's decision it was his decision because he decided to bring back Cassidy he, he decided to loan out Santos again that was his decision do we know that I don't we know that because he, he he told Santos to go on loan and decided to pick Cassidy he kept Cassidy that's the the people upstairs that are making that of decision no 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 he made that decision and the reason why is because of a lack of height in the team he loves height he kept leslie ogachuku over santos because of height he kept he didn't want to play matson because of height do you know what i'm saying he wanted more height in the team so he decided to uh, to, to leave like santos matson again like i said decision decision on him to not play him so i don't i don't look at this guy and think he's got amazing talent id so i don't want him to get any control do you know what i mean but obviously he needs to have a say in certain things and whatnot but in terms of complete control Nah, not Poch. He's not the guy to have complete control. No way. No way. Where do you see us finishing next season? It's hard to say that, man, because there's a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. I predicted we'll get top four this season. I still stand by that. I think, I think we could have got top four if we set up correctly majority of the, year, of the season, in all honesty. But next year, bro, it's hard to say, man, because Liverpool, they've got a new manager. What's going to happen with their signings? Obviously, Arsenal are going to go again. Man City, of course, they're going to go again. United, what's going to happen with them and Ineos and all these you know, changes that are going to happen over there? Yeah. It's too early for me to say, Alex, man. I think I'll have a clearer idea probably at the end, towards the end of the window. Um, and then I'll be able to let you know. But it'll be, it'll be blind faith to be, for me to say, yeah, we'll definitely finish top four next year. Do you know what I mean? Because I have to look what other teams are doing and I have to see what we do as well. Do you know what I'm saying? Thank